Hey, okay, so I I know I've been slacking showing you Royal Diamond Painting, um, the Royal Diamond Painting Mermaid that I finished. Guys, I am not lying to you when I tell you that this is the best diamond painting I have worked on thus far. Um, the rendering is just, you know what, why am I talking? Boom! Look at that beautiful, beautiful mermaid, guys. Look at this. Not only, not only is she very shiny, but just, oh my God, it just, it, it's mind blowing how beautiful she looks. I mean, even like the scales look like they're gold, like, you know, the image is actual gold, you know? Obviously, it's not. It's like this yellow color, you know? But then when you move up, it's like, boom, gold. Um, the flowers. I think this size is just the perfect size. This is a 50 by 70 square. Um, okay, so I am going to be showing you this image as I talk, okay? The pros and the cons. Um, so... The pros on this is, look at the spacing, guys. It's not even like, it's, ugh, the spacing is good. It's perfect. Like, it's not very, uh, there's no, like, huge gaps. And there, there was no popping drills at all. I didn't have any problems with popping drills or too big of a gap. Um, so yeah, and then also just how shimmery this is. It is super, super shimmery. Um, I do want to take this outside just so I can show you guys what it looks like in the sunlight. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now, actually. Okay, so hopefully you can see the shimmer on this. I don't have my little helpers with me right now. They're upstairs, but, um, this is super shimmery. This is on top of my car, or the hood of my car. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just really happy about this diamond painting. Um, it took a long time to finish, but I seriously enjoyed every minute of this, of working on this. I mean, look at, look at the fin. Like, that's so freaking cool. So beautiful. Okay, so in total, there are 55 colors, guys, in this diamond painting. Um, I did cut out the schematic because I had lost the inventory sheet. And also, um, I'm not, you know, obviously, like, you can see all these right here. I didn't spread them out or anything. But I think the amount that I had left is pretty good. I did mix in two colors by accident for this one and that one but it, it's weird because it kind of worked out because i was working on like two symbols at the same time so like you know whatever um if you can do it then why not um so and also like i had lost a couple colors because my baby got to them and i just you know i was like screw it i'm just gonna buy them on etsy so that's what i did i bought the ones that i lost on etsy i got this one from one of my ever moment um kits um, so yeah, it's, it's just funny because like, it has never happened. I had like the hardest time with, I mean, maybe because there's 55 colors, I don't know, but I kept losing them and that's my bad. Um, so there, there, there are some cons with these drills. Um, actually there's like, yeah, there's like maybe two, but that's it. Okay. And I'm going to show you one of them right now. Okay, so there's this one color, um, 3781, was, they have like sticky drills, so they were sticking together. Um, it's not a big deal. I mean, seriously, like one out of like 54 colors, whatever. But I am including everything that I dealt with in this kit, good or bad, okay? I don't want you to be like, OMG, Ruby's talking about one color. No, I have to, <laughs> okay? Um... But this is an easy solution. So this is what I did. Okay, so what you do is you put 
another tray on top so and you just click down press down until you will until you hear that click right and that's how you separate sticky drills see so I mean whatever it wasn't a huge deal but I thought you should know also there were some drills that had little holes in them or um, a little bit of tabbing you know the the drills could be better but I really didn't care because at the end my painting didn't have any popping drills it looked shiny and that's all I care about no popping drills with my squares and a shiny um, outcome you know what I'm saying so if I had to rate this kit that I received what would I rate it I would rate it a 10 okay so on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm gonna say 10 because I really really enjoyed working on this it was actually really fun um, I love the confetti there was confetti in this not not hard confetti but the confetti was there um, the rendering is just freaking amazing um, the drill quality I mean maybe an 8 out of 10 you know whatever it's not gonna be perfect you know not you know not every square kit is gonna be perfect because they're squares you know um, I guess I don't know maybe squares are harder to manufacture I don't freaking know but um, she doesn't have this image anymore um, but she has a lot of other images um, that you can get and will I be ordering from Royal Diamond Painting um yes I will be and I uh, I, I just I'm just so happy you have no idea you know when you get that one kit and you look at it and you're just so proud of your work of the work that you that you were you know you did whatever that's how I feel um so I think that's it for this review guys I you know obviously it's not gonna be long I'm not gonna tell you like I'm not going to count the squares or any other boring stuff. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you like this video. Um, please like this video, subscribe if you have not. It would mean a lot to me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.